totally new tech pad. And just like the teams with a fresh start on the new car, we had a fresh start with the pads. So we just put our heads together and said, let's just make this thing as cool as we can make it and, and basically enjoyable. And it's been a lot of fun building it and getting to the point where, you know, you go to the first test we went to, I'm thinking, man, I hope this thing works. And it did, you know, and, and since then we've been little by little making it better and better. We wanted to come out here and have people go, wow, that's cool, you know, and I think we really accomplished that. A huge challenge to figure out how to get this car on the pad, where as the last year's car, the bodywork was inside the wheels, this year the bodywork is out a little bit further than the wheels for a little bit of added protection. What we've come up with is basically a hydraulic lift system. So we've taken the ramps last year from 24 feet down to 11 feet, which helped us in a lot of places in tight areas. We'll roll the car up and then we just lift the back of the, the car up basically, or the ramps up. And then from that point, we do four or five checks under the car. We check the underwing profiles. We check the tunnel exits, with this, which this year are a lot different, a lot bigger tunnels. Then we roll it on up to the pad and we put a, a half inch spacer on the bottom of the car in four locations so that when the car sets down, that every time we get the car exactly like it was the time before and every single car exactly in the same location. And then once on the pad, we're mainly at that point checking everything that references off the bottom of the car. All the minimum heights, maximum heights, how far the wing sets back, how far the front wing is off of the ground. Basically, that's kind of an aerodynamic type check we're doing up on the pad. We've got the best tech equipment in the country for racing. 